Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing an abundance surrender flow. Remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down and begin to deepen the breath. You can shift your weight slightly backwards, bringing more of the weight towards into the back body and over the heels, just floating here with ease, paying attention to the core. Engaging the core, drawing everything in, floating. Today we're going to focus on releasing resistance, releasing attachment and surrendering. All of these things are pretty much the same thing, but with a different um, approach, outlook. And they're extremely important. In order for us to really embrace something new in our life, we do have to release all attachment to the old, to the ideas. So bring it into the body, the feeling, the sensation. Feel, allow yourself to embrace the feeling, the sensation of surrender in the body, just floating here. Somewhat backwards, don't lose your balance, but float with the texture of effortlessness and weightlessness. Just deepening the breath, surrendering to the moment, to the weight, to the weightlessness, to the flow. Great, let's begin to slowly move here, not a particular move, more of a circular, explorative move. Finding motion and ease in a somatic, feeling the body way, feeling in the movement that's already there. So feeling the movement that exists and following it with your body. Great, let's inhale the hands over the head. Clasping, reaching, feeling in into the upper back. So far up the upper back muscles, drop the shoulder blades down, press the palms together and really lift, reach slightly back and this opens up the back and straightens out the back. Counteracting slouchiness, exhale diving. Bend the knees and let's clasp the hands behind us. Look over to one side, over to the other. Let your head be heavy. You can sway here side to side. And release. Hands on the floor, on the shin bones, look ahead of you. Pull the belly in, this is a mini vacuum here. Enjoy it, lengthen the sides of the torso. So we're elongating the spine and drawing in. It's a really good semi-stomach vacuum or a banda move. And step it back, plank. 
press the heels away from you, pull the belly in, inner thighs active, everything is hooking in, drawing in, strengthening, surrendering, light, yet strong. And let's lower down onto, onto the belly, hug your elbows into your rib cage and lift and lengthen. Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Open the hip. Drop it behind. While thing. I like to put my hand behind the head here and press the elbow back to really help with the opening of the chest. Pressing into the upper back, lifting it as if a forest is pushing into the upper back and allowing it to press and open. Lifting and opening the upper back and take side plank. And let's step the right foot in front of us. Drop the back knee down, reach up and over in a twist here. And just explore here the areas where you can stretch and open. Great. Bring both hands down. You can pause here and really stretch the hip. And step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, take the left leg up, lift. Wild thing, really opening the upper back here. You can bring the hand behind the head, press the elbow back and really lift through that space between the shoulder blades. The back of the heart area and side plank. Imagining a spiral force around the body and around the forearm, hugging you in. It's an expansive contracting and everything force. Step the left foot forward and you can lower the back knee down and come up and twist. And you can bring both hands down and just explore here. A little bit of a hip opener. Step it back plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. And down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Let's bring the hands behind the head and press the elbows back, opening the chest. Release the hands behind, interlacing, soften the shoulders, humble warrior, lower down. Here again, you can tune into the sensation, idea, feeling of surrender, humility, letting go, allowing. Surrender is a very, very ephemeral concept, ephemeral space. It is something that you can tune into, feel with no words. And when we surrender, that is the act of dying and there is many small deaths during life in which we allow ourselves to expand through the act of surrendering, dying to the old, creating space and openness for the new. 
it's a release all right hands on the floor chaturanga upper dog downward dog inhale the left leg up step it through warrior one you can bring the hands behind the head and open here press the elbows back and lift through the heart release the hands behind clasping and lower down humble warrior press into the other edge of the back foot lower down Soften into this pose, there can be a lot of resistance here, so find the softening, the sensation of softening and yielding, giving into a pose. Allowing yourself to not want more of a pose or anything else of a pose, but just to soften into it, to find the path of least resistance here. Release the hands down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Lifting through the tailbone, spread the fingers wide open, walking side to side. Let's walk the hands back to the feet and bring your left hand onto the onto the right ankle. Stretch your right arm forward, look under. Let's stretch the left hand forward, right hand to left ankle, look under. A little bit of a twist, a forward bend, a hamstring stretch upper back stretch great down dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge really wide high lunge come on to the tippy toes and lower down one two three four five exhale down plank chaturanga up dog down dog left side step it through come up high lunge tippy toes one two three four five exhale lower down vinyasa down dog take the right leg up step it through same thing ten times this time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten straighten the legs revolving triangle pose again those poses that require a lot of letting go Tune into that sensation of release, surrender. And exhale the chest down. Step it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog, opposite side. Step it through. High lunge, lift. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten straighten the legs revolving triangle
lower the chest down, plank, two mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, twenty more, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, twenty. Vinyasa. I'll do a cobra here. And down dog. Take a big breath. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through high lunge. Fifteen of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Step at the front in squat, toe lift, step back, squat, toe lift. Step back, squat, toe lift, back. Surrender even if it burns and vinyas. Down dog. Left leg comes up. Step it through. High lunge. Fifteen lunges one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Step it at the front, squat, toe lift, two. Three, four, I'm getting there, five, and a yogic squat. Bring in the breath, back to neutral. Straighten the legs. Stomach vacuum. One more. One last. And let's go into plank. Bend the knees and we're gonna hop side to side in a pendulum slash side to side hop manner. So twist, twist, twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Really squeeze the belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Two, three, four, three, seven, nine, forty. One, two, fifteen. Two, three, and pigeon. You can twist and lower down. (laughs) 
letting go is probably one of the most important lessons of life we can learn because it's part of every dying and we are certainly going to die in many ways and multiple times two things but also there is going to be a big release at the end of the life and also that when being able to let go and surrender can allow us to transition into a different state of existence that we're called into. It's a profound concept and something not very widely embraced in, in our culture, in our society, and so very important. There is far more attention paid to willpower and will, ego, change, push through, take action and all of that, which is great, but not a lot. We don't study in school the power of surrender and embracing and releasing attachment and open. Let's go over to the other side. Opening. And lower down, you can twist or not. interval coming out of this you can spin onto your body lay down going to plow and we're going to do the plow burpee so rolling out into squat taking the squat three or two jumps back and three or two jumps forward roll pause and again a few more of those step onto your heels and feet pads a pine twist you can cross the knees on top of each other opposite side and bridge Bringing the chest towards the chin and really feel the strength 
in the pelvis, step on the other and inner edges of the feet, feel it, feel the pose in its entirety, don't bring your will or judgment into this, just feel it, and lower down, soles of the feet together, release, Surrender into this pose. This is a pose of surrender. And the class is a one of surrender. Tuning into the sensation, the feeling, the awareness, the the air of surrender. Not so much the intention, because there is a little bit of an oxymoron there. Intending and surrendering tend to be opposites. We can intend to surrender, but we can also release into surrender better. It's a really, really one of the most profound, deep, powerful subjects we can explore, allow ourselves to feel and to experience uh, because in essence dying is surrendering and um, there is something called spiritual struggle i think for the people that cannot surrender cannot let go of attachment and it's um it's a state of suffering because of the inability to surrender eventually everybody does so it's good to to be aware of, of our own capacity, we all have it, to surrender and to be aware of it. We experiencing it through life many times when we suffer, it's oftentimes because we are resisting change or resisting what is thrown at us. We were intending or thinking about something else and when a different opportunity comes, we are in able, unable, incapable of surrendering. So here we're just allowing to contemplate surrender by surrendering into the body. You're just simply laying here, surrendering to this moment and allowing every other moment to dissipate. You're floating, threading even water you're floating in an ocean of existence and you're just being. You're part of it, but you're also you. You're separated, but you're one with it. You're moving with it and a part of it and surrendering to the moment and the experience and just being being and allowing everything that comes into your awareness into your being into your life you allow yourself to surrender to it with ease thank you for joining me today i'll see you with our next class and remember to flow with ease.